Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. For those new to the channel, my name is Sean, also known as Film Guru, and I started this channel I have my particular stay on movies and variety of the film content, so thanks for joining me today. Today I'm reviewing The Whale. This is Darren Aronofsky's new film that was based upon a play and stars Brendan Fraser, Sadie Sink, Hong Zhao, Ty Simpkins, and Samantha Mortimer. The film follows the story of recluse Charlie, played by Brendan Fraser, an English teacher who, who after suffering a tragedy, has locked himself away from the world, using food as his way of dealing with things that is leading to his death. He is desperate to reconnect with his daughter, Ellie, played by Sadie Sink, feeling he wants to do something right for once in his life. This is a bit of a departure for Darren Aronofsky. It just, it's a very simple and raw film, much like the story itself. He doesn't do anything really flashy. There are flares of humor in the film, but it's not really the type of movie he usually makes, which I think is really great and refreshing. And I think he does a really solid job with his simple story. They call him this Brendan Fraser's comeback. I don't think he's ever really gone anywhere, but I would say this is one of, if not the best performance he's ever given. It's really dramatic and heartfelt. You really feel for the character. You really feel connected to the character in a way because of the way that Brendan Fraser portrays him. And there's a really sweet and beautifulness about this character, even though he's going through all these difficult times, you really start to worry what's gonna to happen to him because of his choices. You can tell he put his heart and soul in portraying Charlie. He just feels so authentic and real and raw and and such a powerful but simple performance and i think it's fantastic and he's so great to watch in the film i think the rest of the cast do a really great job hong chow she plays liz i think is really great she's fantastic in the film she's sort of the nurse for charlie but also a friend of his and she cares for him deeply and i like their relationship and the connection that they have in a lot of ways she's the only connection he has to the outside world since he's shut himself away ty simpkins who plays thomas is a character that just sort of appears in charlie's life He's sort of, he's very religious and he really wants to save or help people in the best he can. He tries to do that with Charlie, but Charlie's sort of in a place where he doesn't want that. He's sort of holding Thomas back from it. And I, I, I really like Ty Simpkins' performance here. And I really like the contrast between him and, and the other characters in the film. But the other real standout here for me is Sadie Sink. I've only seen her in a small amount of films, but everything I've seen her in, she's been fantastic. She's an up-and-comer and a really talented actress, in my opinion. Most of the time, she plays a lot of likeable and, and nice sort of characters, where this is a, something different for her. This is a character that's very damaged and angry and hurt, and she pushes the whole world away in really aggressive ways. And the Ellie character is just so guarded and so mean, but she's that's like a mechanism it's something to protect her and when Charlie reaches out to reconnect to her she doesn't understand why she has a lot of anger and resentment to him because of the fact that he left when she was eight years old but he never gives up on her and it's really about the relationship between these two is the heart of the film is what's pushing him along what's giving him hope what's giving him something to do or work towards as he's leading up to his final days. Charlie's a character that everybody seems to be really mean and nasty to, but he takes it on. He says sorry all the time. Like they're right for talking to him like that or treating him a certain way. And that sort of is very heartbreaking, I think, for an audience member to, to see this character be like that. What's really great about his character is no matter what happens, he has hope things will be better. He has this thing that he, he knows that his daughter is a wonderful and nice person. And he's trying to bring that out in her. And he doesn't give up hope or faith in that. It's really about, it's for him, but also for her. He's really the hope of the film. He's the, the thing that gives this really heavy and, and kind of powerful film a bit more depth and a bit more heart than you would usually see in a film like this. What I really liked about this movie was the idea that, that everything that happens in the film serves a purpose to the story, but you don't see all the, how all the little parts come together until the very end. And I think that's a really great testament to the script and story writing, but also the way that Darren Aronofsky makes the film. Because these characters that appear, like the, the Thomas character or a couple other characters, and you're not quite sure why they're there and what the purpose of them are. But as the film unfolds and develops, you start to see that every moving piece is important to the story that's being told. And very rarely a film does that, where everything is everything said and shown serves the story. And I thought that was a really wonderful aspect to the film. And it really felt 
like they had really thought out this story in such a great way. There are some tough moments that you see with with the Ch Charlie character, the things he does to himself and, and, and things he goes through. It has splashes of humour with him and, and, and the Liz character, which I kind of liked. This might sound odd, but there's something about the way that, that Charlie stands up. Once he's been in a sitting position and, and has to stand up to get on his walker because he can't walk unassisted because of his weight, he stands up really tall and straight and we see how big this guy actually is. When he's sitting in the chair, he seems so small in a way, but when he stands, he's this giant guy, like this big bear in a way. And there's something about that. I, don't, I can't put my finger on why I liked the way that was shown, but there was something powerful about it. The film does really well to explain who these characters are and we get a bit about them. We also meet, we also meet Ellie's mother and played by Samantha Mortimer. And just kind of the interesting relationship that she has with Charlie and her daughter and how all of them are connected in that way is really interesting to watch. There's so many scenes that I really loved. One in particular where he's being this teacher and he's teaching these kids about writing, but he's never shown himself. He's taken the camera off and talks about how it's broken, which it's not. He just doesn't want them to see him. But there becomes a point in the film where he really wants to be raw and truthful and say something or do something honest and he reveals himself to, to, the, to the class. It's such a powerful moment. And you see that he's taking control of his situation in a way and being honest about things that he's, he's been scared to be honest about. And I really loved that sequence. I liked all the sequences with him trying to reconnect with his daughter and how she holds him at a distance, but how he still keeps trying to connect with her. It has one of the most beautifully heartbreaking endings I've ever seen, but it's so beautiful. There's so much hope in it though, even though it is sort of so sad, it's so powerful and it brought me to, to tears. It was so powerful and beautiful. And that's really what the whole film's like. It's a real punch to the gut because it's, it's so powerful, but there is a beauty into the film. I call these sort of films tragically beautiful. There's a tragedy to them, but there's also so much beauty. Final thoughts. In the end, this film blew me away. I thought this was the most beautiful film I've seen this year. It's so powerful. The performances are so real and honest. Brendan Fraser is fantastic to watch, so is Sadie Sink. It is just one of the best films of the year and I was completely floored by this film. I'm gonna give The Whale five out of five. I thought this film was absolutely wonderful and beautiful and powerful and definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it. Not just for Brendan Fraser's performance, but as a film in its own right, it's just absolutely fantastic to watch. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe down the bottom, follow me on Letterboxd and Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.